Good evening. Salam sejahtera. Malai vanakam. Tacha wa shanghao. Dear residents of Pasir Ris Ponggol, nama saya adalah Zainal Sapari and I am a PAP candidate for Pasir Ris Ponggol JRC. Yesterday evening, after our visit to White Sand Shopping Center, I received a Facebook message from a mother of young three children who had just moved into one of our new BTO flats six months ago. She shared that she has never asked for any help at our Meet the People session, and she asked me this question. Why should I vote for you? And what do I gain by voting for you? I thank her for sharing her thoughts. Voting is her right. Every voter must know that your vote matters. In the voting booth on 11 of September, your vote will carry as much weight as any vote of any MP, any minister, or any big shot that you know. Every vote will be counted and it will make a difference to you, your family, and our nation's future. Vote wisely. Do not spoil your vote. Kesemua 18 Kesemua 89 kerusi akan ditandingkan. Setiap undi yang telah dibuat tidak boleh ditarik balik. Undilah yang terbaik untuk bersama membina keluarga dan masa depan kita. Saya pernah dinasihati oleh seorang ustaz mengenai pesan seorang ulama. Yang berkata, saya perlu takut untuk menjadi seorang ketua kerana jikalau saya tidak berlaku adil kepada rakyat, saya akan dipersoalkan di akhirat kelak. Tetapi, jikalau saya tidak bangun untuk menjadi ketua, saya juga perlu takut kerana tempat itu mungkin diambil oleh seseorang yang akan atau mungkin menjatuhkan masyarakat dan negara yang saya cintai. Apakah niat saya menjadi calon? Saya menjadi calon dengan niat untuk berbakti kepada negara, masyarakat dan agama. It is important that we must vote carefully for capable and committed leaders. If you have read our manifesto, we have actually shared with you concrete plans to make our towns better, taking care of our young, the old as well as the less privileged to live the life that they aspire to. InsyaAllah, kami PAP akan senantiasa prihatin kepada keperluan masyarakat khususnya warga tua, kanak-kanak dan mereka yang memerlukan bantuan. In Pasiris, the remaking of the Heartland Project is one of the many redevelopment projects that are underway as shared in our manifesto. Kami akan bekerjasama dengan anda untuk mendapat maklum balas tentang projek remaking of the heartland supaya kampung kita ini dapat mengekalkan ciri-ciri yang dapat membuat kehidupan kita semua lebih selesa untuk semua lapisan masyarakat tidak kira tua atau muda. Our Pasir Ris Estate is going to have a new hawker center next to our Pasir Ris Sports Complex. Pusat makanan ini dijangka siap pada tahun 2017. As Pasir Ris is a mature estate, our neighborhood shopping malls, Loyang Point and White Sands are also being upgraded. Untuk pengetahuan orang-orang Islam di Pasir Ris khususnya, Masjid Al-Istifa akan diperluaskan lagi untuk menampung jemaah yang semakin ramai. Alhamdulillah. MUIS juga telah mengumumkan rancangan untuk membina sebuah masjid lagi di Tampines North. Dan saya juga gembira diberitahu semakin hari, semakin ramai jemaah yang datang ke masjid bagi aktiviti-aktiviti ibadah seharian. There is still more work that needs to be done. After discussing with DPMTO, I push for the Neighbourhood Renewal Program or NRP to be included to flats built in the early 1990s. NRP has agreed, sorry, MND has agreed. 
Ini bermakna dengan NRP kita dapat membuat sekitaran tempat tinggal kita lebih selesa untuk kita semua. There will be new drop-off porches, new citizens corner, upgraded fitness corner and playground. Now let me touch on national issue. Opposition have raised many issues on the cost of living, unemployment and minimum wage. To be very frank, I'm a little bit sad and disappointed because for the past four years that some of them have been in parliament, none of these issues have been raised at all. Maybe they choose not to, as these proposals would be debated in detail and possibly highlight what are the shortcomings that could be damaging to Singapore's future. It is four years in parliament. See me, Ma Bocho. One of my students, one of my former students, recently uh, sent me a message. I thought I want to show you the message, uh, but it is not with me. Eh? Just trust me, okay? I have the message with me. He said he was thankful that NTUC has championed for the progressive wage model, and his mother was one of the beneficiary. Malah model gaji progressive yang telah diusahakan oleh saya bersama rakan-rakan saya akan memberi 100,000 pekerja di sektor pembersihan, keselamatan dan lanskap kenaikan gaji antara 16 hingga 13, 30%. In NTUC, we championed for low wage workers and it is something that we will do and we will not stop. We are an action party and we live up to this name. What party is that? Ini adalah parti tindakan rakyat. Kami bertindak untuk rakyat. Let me go back to the question that was posed by the young mother again. Why should I vote for you? And what do I gain by voting for you? I think this vote is not about me. Voting is not an auction. Undi anda bukan lelong. Like what Minister Chan Chun Singh said, let me try this. Eh? Pai Mai Hui ah. Vote for your children's future. InsyaAllah, masa depan anak-anak anda, anak anda akan lebih cerah di bawah pimpinan parti PAP yang berpengalaman. The PAP government delivers on its promises. We have come this far for 50 years. We have the next 50 years to build. Vote wisely so the next 50 years will be progressive and not 50 years of rebuilding from scratch. Every vote counts in deciding the government and the future we will have. PAP will work with you, for you and for Singapore. Wu Ning, Kai Chi Chi, Wun Oi, Cho Ka Ho. Majula PAP. Majula Singapura. Okay, if you don't understand the last phrase, maybe this phrase I try again, okay? Ching To, Woman, PAP, Yi Piao. Thank you. Terima kasih Nandri Sisi Tachia.